everyone, welcome back to the channel and thanks for tuning in as always and welcome to the amazing city of Chiang Mai. Now today we are in luck, we are going to be looking at two units for rent in the SR Complex building and one or two for sale as well. So get it while you can guys because this is one of the first condos I've been in after the past 30 that actually has rooms available for rent. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited to see. Now it's an older building. Um, but we've got sort of two variations on the rental, one really cheap, one a bit more expensive, but there are some things that come along with it. And the price is for the ones for sale, I think are pretty reasonable, but they're newly renovated, so you'll be able to see what you can get based on the rental price and what kind of return. So it's like an all-in-one, this video, guys, down here. And yeah, let's head to the condo. I still think I've got about a two-minute walk, so I'll catch up when we're in the first room. Yeah, and this is the first unit we are looking at today for rent here in the SR complex. Now, this has uh, got a pretty interesting deal on it, which I'll share with you uh, at the end of taking this video here. So, a really nice living room. I like this. The floor's been done, renovated to a decent standard. I like that they've done the lights properly here. I really like that. Nice bit of table. Decent sofa, TV, and fridge. Yeah, and they've done the wall. They've skimmed the wall. They've done it to a decent standard. They have indeed. And you've got your bedroom in here. Yeah, I can't complain. I really like this. I think the price is decent. I think you like this case. I mean, as I say, you've seen the building outside. It's an old building, but it doesn't matter once you're inside, does it? Give you a few different angles. And then you've got like a bit of a kitchen, but it's 38 square meters, this one, guys. And if we look out of the window, I mean, we can't get much of a view. But who cares? You could probably buy like a little thing to cook if you wanted to cook because it's the, the spell's not going to go through here. And we have the bathroom as well. Now, I think they probably need to put a new light in, but that's not going to be that difficult, is it? Washing machine in here, decent shower. Now, how about I walk into the shower area and go around here for the bathroom? Yeah, what do you think, this guys? I think this is pretty decent. Now, this is on the fifth floor in this building, the fifth floor, which is, you're quite low down, so you don't get a view, but who really cares about that? But this one is on at 15,000 baht per month. Now, that also includes electric and water and internet. So you don't have anything to pay for. You pay 15,000, that includes everything. So you could blast your air in two rooms on at full whack. <laughs> um, and yeah, you're gonna be saying, paying the same price. Now, that probably works out if you're sort of a moderate air user maybe 12,000, then you're paying electric on top. A heavy air user, maybe 11, 10, 11,000 with electric on top. So I think this is pretty decent. And we're gonna be looking at a room which has got very, very sharp contrast to this, but a lot cheaper upstairs. So yeah, let's go and have a look at that room as well. We're on the seventh floor looking at a for sale unit at the moment. So that's sort of the main road into Chiang Mai that way. And we're looking at 727. Now I think, judging by the way it's done, this is the same owner as the one we looked at for rental. They've basically done it exactly the same way. Really nice, really nice indeed. Pretty, pretty identical. It looks like they need to install the air here. But yeah, like I said, this one is for sale. Obviously downstairs they're renting. It's a bit different, but I don't mind this. I mean, if you look at the corridor, it, it, it is an old building, but stuff like that doesn't necessarily matter in other countries and things so why should it matter in thailand we're literally yeah here the pool here the last unit uh, we're looking at is for rent it's down there that's the last one we're looking at and that's very very cheap i mean you can open your window here get a decent look main chiang mai oh, you can see that's the duang tuan over there so we're not far i mean you can walk down there in 15 minutes not not bad at all so in terms of convenience this is good now, I said this is for sale, and judging by how much they want to rent theirs for, for 15000 on the fifth floor, this one's for sale. It's priced at 1.2 million baht, which I don't think is that bad price, in all honesty. If you could do that and then rent it for, it's probably going to be 10000 isn't it, that you're renting it at, because obviously the price upstairs included um, electric. So 10000 if you can rent it for ten. 120,000 a year, minus your fees, minus your bit of that. Maybe you're left with maybe 100,000. 100,000, 1.2 million um, purchase price. I think that works out at a pretty decent percent. Now, I don't know if you could actually get 10 for it, but I assume you probably could in, in, in this current market. I haven't looked at the bathroom yet, have we? Perfect. Really nice standard. 
Really nice standard this has been done to. This is very similar to how I would do it. So yeah, we're on the 11th floor to look at the last for sale unit, guys. And I just wanted to show you exactly where we are because it's a very good vantage from here. This is the Lampang Superhighway down here. Macro, Bangkok Hospital, Central Festival just down there. And it's this way to Chiang Mai. Now, this is an old building. It doesn't look as well maintained as uh, some of the older buildings that I've been in. But I mean, once you're in the room, as you've seen, they're really nice. But let's go inside here. I mean, I've got the key here and hmm. Yeah, there's no, there's no keyhole. <laughs> it looks like, yeah, it looks like we can't get into this one. But yeah, it's basically going to be exactly the same as the one we saw downstairs, isn't it? Judging by, judging by how they've done it. And yeah, this is exactly the same price, 1.2 million as well. But uh, yeah, let's go and uh, look at the last rental unit because that's the cheapest one. So I'm pretty excited to see. So the last rental unit we're looking at is actually on the fourth floor. So I thought I'd take you to look at the pool which is on the same floor before we go and look at the unit. I literally think it's one of these down here that we're looking at, but I don't think this is bad at all. You're going to be pretty surprised and happy with the, uh, the price of the, of, of the last rental. I'd advise getting it while you can at all, depending on the condition. But yeah, if we look at the pool like this, I'm going to give you a better advantage of the building. You could probably, I mean, I, I will be walking into Chiang Mai from here. And this is the building here. As you see, it's a bit, it's a bit of, a, of an old style building. But once you get into the room, like the first rental we saw, it was, that was really nice, wasn't it? Really nice indeed. Not bad here. And yeah, as I said, I'll be walking into Chiang Mai. It's probably going to take me 15 minutes to get to the river from here. So that's not that bad. Walk past the train station and uh, on from there. But yeah, let's go and look at this, uh, this last rental. I'm pretty excited to see what it's like. And 405 we are looking at that's confusing <laughs> I'm guessing it's this one fingers crossed inside here yeah the nice lady downstairs literally gave me the key ah yep this is the correct one now take the shoes off and let's go and have a look guys now this is a better price but as can be seen it's uh, in a different type of condition, but that doesn't matter. Let me get the lights on. I want to give you a, a genuine feel here. Basically, this would be sort of living room. It's being divided up, bit of a fan there, nice pictures on the wall. And if we walk down here, now the price for this room compared to the last room is considerably cheaper. And obviously for a reason, this it hasn't been done uh, renovated or lived in for a while, it seems. But I mean, if you cleaned it, got your own stuff in, you might think this is worth the price. I'll give you the price shortly. This one doesn't include electric and water, so you obviously need to add that on top. But if we come back here and go this way, this is the SR complex, as, uh, as, <laughs> as I've already said, I didn't need to mention that again, did I? But yeah, imagine your own stuff in, imagine it being cleaned, uh, it will be a lot better. And yeah, you're on the fourth floor, so you're next to the pool here as well, a bit of a pool view. It's nice to have a pool. Uh, for an older building like this, for this price, to have a pool is pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, and bathroom here. That bathroom is actually not done too badly. It's not, it's not bad at all. Everything you need in there. Bit of a mirror. And yeah, they've got this uh, sliding door, so you could still do some cooking. Now, this obviously hasn't been lived in for a long time, and I take it that no agents have access to this, because I asked the building downstairs, and they provided me with the key uh, to come and have a look. So what do you think of this room? Now, 4,500 baht per month. You can't go wrong. <laughs> can't go wrong for that. I mean, yeah, once you've got your stuff in, once it's had a thorough clean, I think that is spot on. So yeah, electric price, of course, from the government. You've only got one air in here. Let's say you've got your air on regularly. Budget, maybe 2,000 for that, a bit of water on top. So you could be all in for less than $200 a month in this place. That's pretty awesome, I think, but yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's pretty good. Get it while you can, guys, because this is literally the first building I've walked in out of about 30 that had units available. And I'll obviously leave a pin to the location. Yeah, so guys, what did you think of those rooms? I thought they were pretty decent. Now for rent and for sale. Now, before getting to this, I'll give you a bit of information. There are 370 units in this entire building. Uh, and the maintenance fee, if, if you're interested in buying, is just 500 baht per month, so 6,000 a year. Uh, not too bad at all. All of your rooms are 38 square meters. Now, for me, 
I haven't looked at this building before, so I don't know if that 1.2 is a reasonable price. Best thing to do, go on HipFlat and see other ones available, what other prices like. Uh, but yeah, this is basically, you walk out, uh, you go this way, and to get to the main road, so I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, the rental, the 15,000, I thought that was pretty decent. If you could take into consideration that includes air and um, includes electric, water, uh, Wi-Fi, etc. Uh, yeah, I think that works out at probably about 11,000, 5, 12,000 baht rental if you had to pay for the stuff on top. So not too bad at all. Uh, the smaller room or the, the cheaper room, I think you could be all in $200 a month for that. Uh, if, you, if you're renting that, can't go wrong. And the, f and the ones for sale, I, I really like them. Now, 1.2 million, as I said, I don't know if that's an accurate or a decent price uh, because I have never, I've never checked this building out before. So we could potentially walk that way, but maybe it's here. Ah, oh, yeah, the sign, condo SR complex there. So what do you think? Now, I, uh, if you're interested, I got everything, then the contact, and they said, if someone's interested, just rock up to the building. So. If you are interested, maybe if you want to reach out to me and I'll, 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 I'll assist if you're interested in, in getting there at no charge. <laughs> I don't want any money uh, and I'll, I'll help you uh, get that unit if you're interested. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Finally, a rental unit. After all the attempts, the buildings I failed at. We've done one. <laughs> Cheers for sticking with me, guys. See you in the next one.